So a little bit different video here. My uh, middle son has really got infatuated with World War II aircraft and he wanted some nose art. Well, I didn't want to make a scantily clad woman to hang in my teenage boy's bedroom, so we decided to do Disney. And down at Castaway K, they have a wrecked plane with a Donald Duck riding a bolt of lightning. So I had a piece of aluminum. I did a real subtle bend on it and added a bunch of quote-unquote rivet holes. I hand sketched a in pencil a Donald Duck on there and now I'm going over it with some Sharpie. Here I'm adding some white acrylic paint. Here I'm adding some yellow acrylic paint. Now some brown acrylic paint. And some more brown acrylic paint. Why do I say acrylic paint? Because it's the wrong paint. Don't use acrylic paint on metal. Use one shot. Yes, sign painters paint. It's a high pigment enamel paint designed to be painted on metal or on signs. It's very tough, it's weather resistant, and it doesn't sand off when you try to age something. So what I'm telling you is that while this looks kind of cool, the only thing that's going to stay when I hit it with even just a 2000 grit sandpaper will be the light blue, the dark blue, and the red. Don't believe me? Well, after I got this done, I hit it with some sandpaper and all the acrylic paint came off. But luckily, my dad found me some more sign paint or one-shot paint at Dick Blick. So after picking up several different colors, I went back and redid all the white. So here, you get to watch me repaint in white. The paint not only flows better, it covers better, and now my brother gets to watch me involuntarily move my mouth while I paint because apparently he finds that rather humorous. So here is several minutes of me painting. How many times did I move my mouth without even thinking about it? I had seriously considered actually counting all the mouth movements, but after I got over 20 in the first segment, just the first like 10 seconds, I decided not to because I didn't want to give myself a complex. You see me, I outlined with a pinstriping brush uh, in black. Now I'm just hitting some of the holes, actually trying to scrape off some of the paint to make it look old. Here I'm hitting, wet sanding it with a 1000 grit or 2000 grit, I don't really remember, doesn't matter, to one, open up the aluminum, and two, take off some of the high points or the thick 
parts of the paint and I actually want to wear through some of that paint so you can see there at the top on the on the light blue I went through it because again I want this to look like we pulled it off an airplane if you've watched as many of these shows by now you know that I like making props I like making things look old uh, so that's what I'm doing so how am I gonna age this well I learned a little trick with aluminum and it's pretty easy and you don't really have to do much so after sanding and getting a fresh basically taking all the oxidation I added some gloves put on some rubber gloves and use some bathroom cleaner with bleach just spraying it on here liberally all over wherever I wanted it and then you leave it out in the Sun now I ended up propping this up so it would run down a little bit and the Sun and the bleach oxidizes it and this couldn't be a gnarly rocket video if I didn't add a color wash so a little paint a little water a little help from my little buddy and now we're gonna add some rain and years of dirt look at that kids professional already so there we have it now it looks aged the paint doesn't look as bright and shiny it's got a matte finish to it so now we're gonna take it inside we're gonna clean it up just a little bring it back from looking super dirty and also get some of the stuff off of it we're gonna add some rivets as if we couldn't get all of them out I show my middle son how to use rivet gun there you go you've got some shine you've got where the bleach has actually bubbled the paint which looks awesome it's come through you see the aluminum not all the lines are crisp it looks like we pulled it off an airplane very cool now it's time to hang it in his room well a little bit different video than he-man toys and star wars toys but i thought it was fun uh my son really likes it we all had fun i hope you enjoyed thank you much Thank you.